So here the question is saying to us to translate the triangle by the vector 3, negative 2. So what we need to realise with translations is, is the top vector is left, right, and the bottom vector is down, up. So basically we've got to realise that the top number, if it was negative, then we go left. If it's positive, we go right. If the bottom number is negative, we go down. And if it's positive, if it's positive, then we go up. So we're telling us to go three right and two down. So we choose any point on the shape, and we follow that shape through the vector. So three to the right and two down. So that corner, that vertex, has gone to there. Now the whole shape moves with that point. So basically, it was two across. So two across, uh, three up. Should be using your ruling guys, of course. So three up, and then we join it together. So we'll make that a bit neater. So there we go. And in the exams, shade it in a little bit so that it's really clear to the examiners where your answer is. So I say photocopy the exams nowadays. And that's how the translation would work. And we could check because we choose any other point one, two, three across, one, two down. So make sure you get those marks, guys, for fairly straightforward questions with vectors. The next part of this question on transformations is asking us to describe fully the single transformation. Please don't write two down or anything like that. Now, the way we do these kind of questions is really think, well, what are the four possible transformations that we could do with shapes? So transformation means how shapes move from one position to another. So we could either reflect the shape. So it could be a reflection. It could be a rotation. It could be an enlargement. Or as we saw in the first part of this question, it could be a translation. So we look at the shape. Now we can see from the question here, it can't be a translation because the shapes would still be in the same orientation. So that had a side of three going upwards and that had a side of three going upwards. Um, and the peak was pointing upwards. So it can't be a translation. So the idea of writing down the four possible answers is that we'd put a cross there to say it can't be a translation. It's not an enlargement um, because at the end of the day, the examiners don't try and catch you out by giving you the same size shape, uh, which have an enlargement scale factor of one. Um, so therefore, it's got to be a rotation or a reflection. It's not an enlargement. The shape's not got bigger or smaller. Um, we could argue, though, there's a negative enlargement, but that's for another day. But we'll say it's not an enlargement because the shape's not got bigger or smaller. Is it a reflection? Well, typically, we'd expect if it's a reflection that that would go over here somehow, or it would go over here somehow, or with a diagonal reflection line, then it would flip over there. But then that corner would go over here somewhere, and that corner would go there somewhere. Wrong way around. So it's not a reflection. So therefore, we come to the conclusion it must be a rotation. So a rotation is the single word we use to get one mark. We then got to describe fully. So once we know it's a rotation, we've got to give a center, and we've got to give an angle and direction. Well, hopefully we can see here by using our tracing paper and so forth that this would be a straightforward term. So with our tracing paper, we can see that the center of rotation would be there. And we would check by moving our tracing paper around the angle we think, well, it's 180. So we have to go around 180 degrees. So it's going to be center 0, 0, 180 degrees. Now, we, ha we should say the direction, so anti-clockwise or clockwise, but as it's 180, it didn't matter. So 180 degrees would be fine. But if you want to be complete, you could say clockwise or anti-clockwise. So just be careful where the question says do a single transformation. You choose one of the transformation words only, and then you describe that rotation, in this case, through the centre and the angle of turn.